Hey there, St. Thomas family. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Barbara McCall. I'm the Director of Children and Family Ministries here at St. Thomas Church. And I would like to start off with a huge thank you to all of you who donated all of these lovely plastic bags uh, for the last about month and a half. If you visited the church in early July, you might have been a little alarmed to see that our welcome desk was overrun with plastic bags. And I am happy to share with you and report that last week, 25 third through fifth grade students working in two smaller groups, a morning group and an afternoon group, were able to turn almost all of the bags that were donated into what we call plarn. They connected them into these long chains of 25 bags that are used as plastic yarn to weave sleeping mats for individuals in Kansas City who are experiencing homelessness. We got connected to this project um, as we were basically reinventing our reaching out to the community camps, looking for activities that would be meaningful to our kids, of course, most importantly, beneficial to our Kansas City community, and that could all be done here on site. If you're familiar with ROTC camps, uh, we almost always take our kids out to community organizations. We have several partnering organizations that we work with. We do projects on location throughout the city, and then we go out in the afternoon and take the kids for fun activities. Thank you, coronavirus. None of that was able to happen. But this great project came our way, and we saw it as a way for the kids to do good work for the community while also at the same time dealing with the environmental implications of having to use these plastic bags uh, at the grocery store. Um, every time we go anymore. So I wanted to share that great news with you. Our kids in only three days were able to weave enough of this plarn that Sarah Stolberg, who is the creator of our Bed of Bags project here in the Kansas City area, was able to make an entire mat out of the work they had done in just the first three days of our camp. So that will go to someone, most likely an adult, but not necessarily, um, in the Kansas City area who is forced to sleep outdoors um, at night. So um, we have had a lot of interest as people uh, visited the church um, or who were working here saw the kids working on this project this last week. We had a lot of interest and so I wanted to take a minute to share with you if this is something that you would like to continue helping us do how you might do that as you continue to gather these bags and we all feel overrun with them in our houses. So what you do, after you've gone to the grocery store and you have your collection of plastic bags, what you're gonna use are these kind of standard grocery bags. They're sometimes called t-shirt style bags that have the two handles at the top. So we're gonna take one just kind of straighten it out. It doesn't have to be perfect, but hold it upside down to find that bottom seam. And then beneath that bottom seam are two tapered pockets that you can kind of stick your fingers into. So we're gonna take one and just using your fingers, if you need to, you can poke a little hole with scissors. Um, but if you have any kind of fingernails, they tear pretty easily and we're gonna make a hole. Now we want it to be big enough that our hand can fit through. And then we're gonna turn and do the same thing on the other side. So now, and you don't even, have, they don't have to be the exact same width. That would be really hard. You just need two holes that you can stick your hand through so that when we're done, our bag looks like this. These are the handles. This end is the holes that I created. I'm gonna do that on another bag. So we need two to start with. So I straighten it out. Find our little tapered pockets at the bottom, pop one hole, do the same to the other side. Now, I'm going to hold one bag vertically and take my first bag that I did 
and slide it through to make a T. Now we're just going to do a simple slip knot by pulling one set of holes through the other. Now we want, sometimes we notice this with the kids, they wanted to just yank on the bags, but it resulted in some broken bags. It's actually a little easier if you just kind of use your fingers to slide that knot down until it's tight. So now we have the beginnings of a chain of Clarn. So we continue by taking our bags, pop the hole in one side, pop the hole in another side, and I simply keep adding to my chain. The goal is to have 25 individual bags in a chain of twine. So here's a set of three. I have another one in progress. This one is 10. So 25 is a pretty long chain, but on Wednesday of last week, uh, Sarah Stolberg actually visited with our kids and she wove a mat for them to watch. And 25 just seems to be a good amount. It's not so long that she can't work with it, but it allows her to finish a couple of rows uh, through the weaving process of these mats. So if this is something you would like to do, this is one way to keep your bags together um, and maybe store them a little easier. But if you get to a chain of 25, all you need to do is accordion fold it. And then when I've done that, I personally, it makes it a little easier for me if I just take a rubber band or a piece of curling ribbon or string or whatever I have handy to kind of bundle that and then I uh, put it in a larger bag, either a kitchen trash bag or a paper grocery bag if I have any of those around. Um, these can be delivered just to the front of the church. Uh, behind the welcome desk would be just fine. And depending on how quickly we uh, collect these, I think we have a couple groups at the church that are going to be working on them. I know I'm just doing this to, like I said, take care of these plastic bags that are all over my house. Um, as we get enough, I will deliver them to Sarah Stolberg's house and she will continue to use them to make these bags. So once again, thank you so much to everyone who donated. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, description of what our kids were able to do with all of those bags. I know it was a little unsightly uh, there as we got into the beginning of July with so many plastic bags on our welcome desk. So I thank you for your patience with that because uh, we truly were able to turn it into something great. Um, and it's something that uh, anyone who feels called to do can continue to do uh, to help us both do something good in our community and to do something good for the environment with all these plastic bags. So thank you again and God bless.